Hey everybody, Joe Burnich with BigWestMarketing.com, bringing you some more helpful information when it comes to websites, internet marketing, SEO, Google, all this stuff. That's what we're here to talk about today. And this is actually going to be a pretty broad topic today. I had somebody basically, I, I asked you know people to send me in their questions when it comes to this stuff, and somebody was simply saying, you know, SEO service, how does it all work? Okay, so, and everybody, every SEO company does, you know, their own system, has their own system. Some of them actually don't have any system. They just kind of wing it and hope that stuff happens. But but those that have systems, it's it's unique to each one. I'm going to explain the system here at Big West Marketing, and maybe that'll help some, anybody who's doing SEO. Maybe this video will help them as well. But this is both for, you know, um, potential clients that want to work with us and do SEO. It's for people that want to do their own SEO and need some structure. It's also for our current SEO clients that are kind of wondering exactly what goes on behind the scenes. I'm going to break everything down into basically 15 things we do for SEO. So let's get started right now. Okay, so I put a little outline here so you can follow along and we can stay on track and not and I, I don't want this to run too long, but there is a lot that goes into SEO, so let's jump in right now. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build out a website, okay? And we're gonna focus on the mobile first, all right? We want, if, if 70 to 80% of the people are coming to your website from Google or wherever, uh, on a smartphone, and that those are the statistics for a local business. Seventy to eighty percent are on a on a smartphone these days. Okay, so that means we're going to design that website first on a cell phone, first on a smartphone, and then on the big desktop computer. That's very important. Okay, most people will design for a a computer and then just like an afterthought. Oh, let's make sure it's mobile friendly. I don't want mobile friendly. I want mobile first. I want mobile effective. I want this thing to make you money. Okay. So that's what I'm going to focus on first. And for example, I'll give you an example of what I mean by mobile first. And I've talked about this on other videos, but here's the website. I'm redoing my own website right here, but look what we've done. Look what we got going on. We're not just having a nice looking website that says what we do. That's what most people do. What we want is we want people to take action once they hit the, the website uh, or hit your website on a smartphone. Okay. So look at what I've got here. I've got a tap to call. Okay. I've got a tap to text. I've got a get a free strategy button, and I've got a call today button down at the bottom. Now, if you notice, no matter where I go on this page or on any page, the, the call now button is always down there. So as people can just hit that and start calling our, our number. Or the new feature that people are really freaking excited about is the tap to text. We came up with this about a month ago. Um, actually, I was uh, talking with, with uh, a podcaster named Dave Negri that works with a lot of contractors, and he actually kind of planted the seed for me and said, hey, why can't we do tap to text in addition to tap to call? So we did it. And what happens is when you hit tap to text, boom, it automatically opens up the text program, populates the phone number so somebody can just text you right away if you want to do business by text. It depends on what kind of business you're in, what industry you're in. All right, so that's that kind of summarizes mobile first. I mean, we, it, there's a lot more to it than that, but that's where we focus heavily because that's where your clients are finding you. Super important, something that most SEO companies overlook, okay? Next thing we want to talk about is we want unique content on the website. So that means we want to make sure that the text that's on your website, the words, is unique, okay? We, want, we run it through a program called Copyscape. So... Um, to make sure. Now, a lot of people love to argue this and say, hey, you know, um, I see websites ranking that have, you know, duplicate content or, or copy and paste content from other places. And yes, if you've got a lot of other things going for you, you can put duplicate content on your website and still rank on Google, still do SEO. But why take a chance? Okay, especially for a new website, a new business, or somebody that's had Google problems in the past, has tried to trick Google and got penalized. All this kind of stuff, yes, it is possible to rank if you don't have unique content, but why take a chance? We always run everything through copyscape.com, and if we need to, we have a team of writers that we submit stuff to, and they either come up with brand new unique content, or they rewrite content to make sure it passes the, the copyscape 
um, guidelines, which is what, which is basically what Google looks at as well when it comes to, you know, are you copy and pasting somebody on the from from the internet, or are you unique? Are you a special, unique business? Google likes that. All right. Now, next thing I want to talk about is title tags. So, title tags. Let me see. Let me pull up a website here. Let's just pull up my website here. Now, I'm getting ready to redo this website here, but look, marketing solutions for contractors and service companies. That's what this one is for. Now, if you're doing, uh, let me pull up uh, the, my, my local uh, carpet cleaner client here that I sold my carpet cleaning to business back in 2014. So that's when you when you hover above this little tab here. That's the first thing Google looks at is whatever that says. So if you can see this on the screen, I'm not sure it says it says Wow Green Carpet Cleaning Missoula, you know, with a $99 special. So Google's going to look at that and be like, Okay, Carpet Cleaning Missoula. That's the number one thing they want to rank for on the home page. And then they do if you've got uh, other services or other things that you want to rank for, you need to put those on separate pages. I've made extensive videos on title tags and how they need to be set up. It's different for each platform on where you place them, and it, it's kind of custom to your business of how those are going to be set up. But this is not a how-to lesson. This is how to structure what you do in the order that you need to do it. So title tags, that's number four. Now we're going to talk about uh, schema code. Let's bring this website up again. Let's bring up my website here. So schema code is something that we put at on the footer of every website that we do SEO for, okay? And so you can see, for example, this is Big West Marketing. Um, this is the address and the phone number. Now, you're like, well, you know, you just put some, you know, your basic information on your website, Joe. No, it's actually in some special code. Let me pull up an example of that code. I'm going to pause this and come right back and show you an example of schema code so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I logged into the WordPress dashboard of one of our websites here, and you can see down here, this is the this is the footer section. So we're putting this in the footer so that it shows up on every single page, so Google sees this on every page. And what we're doing is we're matching this information using all this code, okay? And you can find this code on the internet. You just, you know, search for schema code, and you can get all this stuff on here. So, but basically what it is, is it's a way to say, it, it tells Google and other search engines, you know, in code language, which is what they really look at, um, what exactly your business name is, your address is, your city, your state, your phone number, what type of business you are, what category, and you match that all to the Google My Business account. So this, it matches exactly. So my Google My Business account matches this stuff exactly. So this is what it looks like, you know, on the front end, but this is what it looks like when we set it up on the back end. And I've made other videos on this before, so once again, I'm not gonna get too deep into this, but I want you guys to understand how important this stuff is. I'm hitting all the highlights, okay? So you can see exactly what it, it takes to rank on Google. What is what you need to do for true SEO, for real SEO, okay? Not all the little tricks and tactics and all this stuff that you'll see everywhere, but the real stuff, the real stuff that real SEO companies do when they're setting up a client for the first time, all right? Okay, next thing we'll do is an address check. I've talked about this many times before, how important the address, your physical address, whether it's a home address or commercial address is, that's gonna determine which city Google will let you rank in in the maps section or in the three pack, whatever you want to call it. That's where most of the business comes from. That's where your reviews are going to show up. That's what Google looks at. That's what uh, uh, potential clients look at on their desktop and their phone if they're searching for your service or your product on Google. Um, so the address, and we're talking about local business here. We're not talking about big national companies here. This is a small local business. That's who we work with. Okay, so that's what I'm referring to here, just in case that was uh, confusing. So you set up your Google My Business account using your specific address. They send out an, uh, a postcard. Now, what? Notice here. Let's see. I said issue resolving. This is such a huge part of what we do and what good SEO companies do. Every good SEO company will do this is they'll go out and they'll try to find old addresses, 
fake addresses. Maybe you worked with somebody in the past or maybe you were told that you should use P.O. boxes, um, virtual addresses, UPS boxes, all that kind of stuff. You can't do that stuff anymore for, for SEO, okay? Um, I know some people are still getting away with it, but Google's cracking down and it's not going to last too much longer. So we do we, we go out there and we try to find all of the, the false information that could be causing ranking problems, could be causing SEO problems for you. So that's very important. Once again, I got videos on how to do all that stuff step by step. All right, now, subscribe to my YouTube and you'll get all of the, the details of how to do each one of these. Okay, now, okay, next thing is we've got, we set up uh, uh, Bright Local Reports. So Bright Local is a company that we use, we pay, to generate reports that say, okay, here's the business that we're trying to rank. Where do they rank on Google, on um, Yahoo, on Bing, and for which keywords, which search terms, the ones that we're going for, because there's all, you know, you, there's probably a handful of, or there's a list of t things you really want to work for, uh, cert, uh, rank for, and so we keep track of all that stuff, and that's for you and us. So we keep we get those monthly so that we can see where you stand and what we need to do, what we need to tweak, what we need to improve, um, you know once again, resolve issues. That's how we tell is by these reports that come in. And then we forward you one of those reports every month, okay, to uh, keep you informed with a little with a little note or a little analysis on what's going on so to keep you informed. Now, you, if you're doing your own SEO, do this for yourself. Find some kind of reporting system. I don't care if it's Bright Local or if it's another one or if you're just using a, a, an Excel spreadsheet to keep track of stuff. You need to keep monthly checkups on everything that's, that's going on so that you know what you can improve, what you need to fix, etc. All right. Let's go to number eight. So the Google My Business setup and or cleanup. So a lot of times, like yesterday, I jumped into, we just got a new client, SEO, and I go in, I logged into his Google My Business account because there's a few things he needed to change, okay? And um, I noticed that in that account, he had four other uh, Google My Business accounts with fake addresses. I, I'm not sure what happened and, and I really don't care. But I was able to make sure I know about all those, note them down for the next steps here, but also set them as permanently closed so that Google doesn't think you're trying to trick them. Okay, You want to get rid of the junk, the fake stuff, all the games and stuff like that that people play with addresses and stuff like that. That needs to be cleaned up. All right, so that's what that's what we do with the Google My Business. We do the same thing for Facebook business setup. So your Facebook business page, or if you have other old Facebook business pages, stuff like that, that all needs to be cleaned up. And then your Facebook information needs to match Google exactly. And that includes hours of operation, the exact same website, the same phone number. I mean, have you changed your phone number or, or you have several phone numbers and sometimes you put it here, sometimes you put it there. Is your business name matched exactly in Facebook as it is with Google, okay? We're, so we're matching everything. We're optimizing, we're matching everything so that you look like a solid, clean, consistent business in Google's eyes. That's so huge with ranking. Most people don't understand that when it comes to local businesses, how consistency across the internet is, is, is the foundation for ranking. All the other stuff doesn't matter if you don't have your foundation, okay? Same thing with Yelp. Yelp is the third most important thing you need your property on the internet right now. Anyway, as the as, as far as the making of this this video, but there's and then there's 60 plus other ones. But I'm talking about the top three that we talk about first of all: Google, Facebook, Yelp, business. Okay. So then, oh, actually, my I don't know how to put numbers here. We're actually going to have uh, 16 things. Sorry, not 15, 16 things. The next thing we do is the internet audit. So like I said, there's 60 plus other directories out there that need to be figured out. There's more, but there's 60 that Google really cares about. And I've got spreadsheets and everything. I've, I've supplied this to you guys before in other videos, so I'm not gonna get into the details on exactly which ones they are, but we scour the internet and we find every instance of your business that we possibly can on the internet. Every phone number, every address, every version of your business name, every website, uh, all that stuff needs to be found on the internet so that we know exactly where you stand, so that we know what to clean up. Um, and then we, we uh, and then as far as the cleanup and, and changing and fixing stuff goes, we there's three things we use to do that. We use yext.com. Okay, we subscribe to that for you. And that takes care of maybe 10% of it. And then we do Moz Local, and that takes care of another maybe 10 to 20%. So those two together, 
uh, they're paid services. They take about, they, they clean up about 30% of the stuff that we want, okay? And then um, they also add some extra stuff if stuff is missing out there. And then after that, the other 70%, we do it manually. I mean, we're going into these websites and we're doing this stuff one by one. And where if we can't get in, we got to figure out how to get in. And if things have changed, we're the ones who figure all that stuff out for you. It is time-consuming, tedious work. Anybody can do it. It's not, it's not super technical, okay? But it is time-consuming, it is frustrating, and it is tedious work, okay? Luckily, I have a team of people here that uh, are not afraid of that kind of work. I personally don't like to do it. But my team, I hire people that do like to do that kind of work. It's a lot of investigative type stuff and just trying to figure stuff out. It's like a big puzzle that's constantly changing that you have to try to figure out. So that's what, and that's where a, a lot of the actual time, people are like, what are you actually doing for my business? You know, that's the kind of stuff we do. And then we send you reports once it's done. The reports are nice, concise, and you don't get to see all the 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 screaming and the, the swearing that we do in, at the computer while we're trying to fix all this stuff. Um, but that's really what it looks like. And we do it the hard way. Okay. We do have a couple tools, Yex to Moz, to help us at the, to help us, but to get it done right, man, there is no tool out there that's going to do it the same way that a human being is going to do it. All right. Now, 13, this is where we, this is where we start doing the link building program. And a lot of people think that this is all you do for SEO, build links. And that's the old way. Look at all the stuff we did prior to even starting the link building. We may be 90 days in, we may be maybe four months in before we even start the link building program. You don't want to do links unless you have all the foundation taken care of. Unless you have 1 through 12 taken care of, don't do links unless you have all that stuff taken care of, okay? Links are the last, are one of the last steps, okay? And everybody has does links differently, but Basically, the way that we do it is we have um, we have a collection of websites. Some of them we own, some of them we don't own, and they're high authority sites that have good uh, a good reputation with Google, and they provide uh, you know excellent content, and they are they're real websites. Okay, and what we do is we add articles to those websites, you know, written articles about, of those websites, and in those articles we have links. You know, little little highlighted words and or pictures that link back to your website. Okay, and we make and we're we're super careful and we do this very slowly. We do it over time because these days, I mean, Google's filters are cranked up. They're spam filters and they do not want spammy links. So, for example, some companies they'll still go to like, they'll hire somebody in India to say, hey, give me two hundred links to this website and. <laughs> And I'm telling you what, that's the best way to get a, a penalty from Google is to do something like that. We do it very methodically, very slowly, very carefully, and we do not want penalties. We do not want, we do not want to over-optimize. So that's so important, and a lot of people overlook that, especially people that are new to SEO or are just getting into it, um, and they're just reading stuff out there, and information may be outdated. Um, or just wrong, just wrong information. There's so much BS information out there. So we carefully, that's a key word, implement a link building program. Okay. Now, throughout this, we're going to be doing consulting with you, okay, on, you know, th other things that you can do as a business owner that we absolutely cannot do. We cannot go out there and just get Google reviews for your business. Of course, we have a tool called the Easy Five Star that helps you with that, but we can't do that for you. But getting five star reviews or getting, I'm sorry, getting any kind of review on Google uh, is a positive thing. It shows Google that you are a real business and you got things going on. And I'm just talking about real reviews. I know people are gaming the system and they're putting up fake reviews. Hopefully Google is going to slap them and take their sites down and give them penalties uh, in the future. Um, but right now, just do it right. If you're in it for the long game, just get real reviews. People will be able to tell too. People looking at those reviews will be able to tell if they're fake or if they're if they're real. Okay. Another thing we want to consult about is pictures. Here's something that most people don't know, including SEO companies, is how important pictures are. If you take pictures at the location of your business or in your city that you're trying to rank in or cities that you're trying to rank in with your smartphone, it'll actually tag those pictures with the location. And when you upload those pictures to your Google My Business account or other online directories, Google will tell. So the days of just like finding stuff on Google Images or buying stock photos and slapping them up on Google, my business and stuff like that, 
That's better than nothing, but Google wants to see real pictures of people doing work and they wanna see signs with your logos, they wanna see t-shirts or shirts, hats, whatever it is, and they wanna see people doing the work that you that you provide. Like if you're selling candy, they wanna see people handing candy to customers, real people, not not posed stuff. They want to see people in action, in work. And Google, it's amazing. We've got penalties removed specifically by doing just that, by adding and uploading um, pictures, pictures from cell phones, from smartphones, because Google wants real. Google doesn't want all this fake stuff anymore. They want the real stuff. Pictures, super important. So we'll consult on that, okay? That's part of it. Um, Next thing we'll do is we'll update you anytime there's any new changes. Google made, what, 37 big updates last year, something like that. There were three that my clients really needed to know about, and so I inform you of that, and inform you what could happen if there's ups and downs and and how and what we're going to do to uh, to prevent that. And sometimes they help, sometimes they hurt. It just it's That's the game. It's constantly changing. That's And, and if you're going to do the SEO game or hire somebody to do the SEO game for you, you need to be ready for ups and downs and changes and whatever. So, but we try to build it up. We try to build this foundation so when those changes do hit, 99% of the time they will not affect us whatsoever because we're solid. We're doing things right and we're doing things for the long term, not just short, quick little tactics that'll get you up for a few months and then drop you down for the next year. We don't want that. We don't play those games. Okay. Now, uh, and then the next thing is, is we do implement new SEO tactics once in a while. I go to conferences, I read, I, I, it's a constant learning process, obviously. And so when we find something that may be valuable for our clients, I'll test it out on my websites first um, and or um, if clients are willing to do some testing, you know, very safe, controlled testing, then we'll we'll implement new tactics that way. Okay, so so it's ongoing, and that's why SEO is ongoing. Some people think, well, I'll just do SEO for three months and quit. And if you don't have very much competition, then that's that's viable. You can do that, and a lot of times it works. Um, but if you've got if you're in a comp if you're trying to rank for some competitive keywords or some competitive search terms, and you better have you better be on top of this stuff and be doing stuff every week, every month, and be and be analyzing and learning and changing and shifting what happens. So once again, my name is Joe Burnich. I knew I, I was I was afraid that it was, this was going to be kind of like a rant, and and it was. Um, but for those of you that really are interested in how SEO works and how an SEO service, a, a real SEO program works, this is it in 16 steps. So, once again, my name is Joe Burnich. If you need some SEO services, or if you would like to have a consultation with us, it would, the first one is free for 30 minutes, 406-493. 1881. I'll also put a link so you can get signed up for that. I'll also put my phone number at the end of this video and I'll also put a link that you, to where you can get my book where I talk about all this stuff. Okay, I got a 150 page book. I'll send it out for free. There will be a link to the book as well. Once again, my name is Joe Burnage with Big West Marketing. Thank you for listening to me ramble and rant. I will talk to you soon. <laughs>